What's up, guys? New video. More Dodge stuff. That's where we left it. This fine quarter panel was all nicely ground down, ready to go. I've pulled out the other quarter panel. God, are these things long. Out of the old storage shed. And I just cleaned up the garage a little bit. I got myself another toolbox. I filled it full of junk. Um, but yeah, so we're going to work on this. So the plan is real quick. Uh, I'm going to take a tail light and all that assembly out. It's got a big dent right here. I want to whack that out. So that way this will be more straight when I'm welding on the new panel, obviously. So we'll do that. Get that out. I want to cut a fairly large section of this out. Uh, so I can take that to get paint matched. And we'll start working on the inner wheel tub and the trunk drop down. I'm not going to lie, my, my standards and my hopes aren't too high. I'm sure it'll be kind of junky. But that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna get set up, we'll get the laps going, start doing a little bit of cutting, a little hammering and all that. If that sounds interesting, interesting to you, grab yourself a drink, hit the subscribe button, and we'll uh, get after it. Unfortunately, it's not going my way. So I got the headlight out, but it's a uh, double wall. So I can't get to it. it goes to about there. So I ground her down, I pull it a stud puller. We'll just uh, see if we can buzz her on and knock it out a little bit. We're not going for perfection, we're just going for good enough. And again, really, just from the kind of molding line up is all that really matters. And, uh, I mean, I don't know, I guess we can kind of compare it to the other side, but I believe it just kind of runs, yeah, it runs flat to it. So we just got to pull that out until it's at the same depth as that edge. Eh, how are can it be? All right, let's get, uh, let's get knocking. All right, well, we got our little window in the future. Uh, I, I kind of knocked this out, so it's it's good enough in my mind. Again, we're only going to use the top, you know, a few inches of it, but it's uh, it's out enough. I'm happy with it. Um, so yeah, I cut this all out. This one is actually in quite a bit nicer shape, and at the end of the day, I probably could keep this trunk uh, drop down. And you can see, like, look at that. There's like moss in it, but uh, it's a little holy at the bottom. We're this far in, it's really not the end of the world. It was just one zip at the back. The front's rotted, so it'll, I mean, it's it'll come right out. And then it just has a few spot welds uh, that attach the actual trunk. So I'll just zip that right out and put the new panel right in. And then once we get the new panel in, really all we gotta do is just do this little, this little back piece here of the tub, which is almost nothing. That's a very small patch. And I'm sure it'll be a little soft here, but it actually underneath, it still runs the whole way over, so it's not rotted out. Somehow that's that happened. Now I'm sure it's gonna be thin here, but I'm not too worried about it. And at the front, it's actually still all together, so that's great. The window mechanism's all there. We'll get that all greased up and clean. Uh, I'll pull off the, uh, the trim piece. We've got our uh, sample pieces for Rondex so they can match the paint uh, in the next couple of days. But yeah, this side actually should go fast. now. I kind of want to do this video a little different than the last one because, uh, well, obviously we just watched one quarter panel. So I think I'll do a lot more time lapse on this. Just kind of let the camera roll while I'm working away and uh, and kind of go that way. So uh, you can kind of watch these as a, as a one, two and really get a little bit of explanation why I'm doing it and then just watch me do the work. So last video, I think I did a pretty good job explaining what I did. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll probably just keep hacking. I'm not going to lie. Like the next thing I do, we'll get the trunk drop down out. We'll get whatever left of this quarter off. We'll take the uh, the sill piece kind of off, or at least down, and uh, start getting the quarter all out, which really, I don't know if we'll finish anything tonight, but I'd like to at least get uh, all the cutting and ugly work done, get the trunk drop down in tonight, maybe start in the wheel tub, and then tomorrow we can finish off the actual quarter, get it all welded in, and, uh, and go from there. Sounds like a plan?
All right, let's get after it. So slowly but surely, we're just kind of cutting the fat. Um, again, this car was nice because this is like the, the inner sill and we're all packed full of junk. There was some stuff, but not too bad, so it didn't rot out. That's always a problem area and well, all hot rods. Uh, I got most of the, kind of what was left of the fender off, so I'll just kind of grind that. There's still a little kind of squigglies here and there, but I'll, I'll kiss that with the grinder. And, uh, you know, basically from here forward is, is not too bad. It's rusty. I got some rust converting spray, so I'll hit it with the grinder real quick, just like the uh, the disc. Get all the the real rough <coughs> stuff off. Rust convert it. We'll undercoat it. It'll be fine. I'm only going to end up building a section down here and across. Uh, I got this kind of trunk down out. Uh, drop down out, I should say, sorry. So this is, the, this is the new panel. As you can see, it's got these little tabs, which match those little tabs. So I just zipped it off. So I'll get the little belt sander and I'll kind of get the spot welds, peel that off. And there's a couple spot welds on top and on the side of this back brace, which will then just kind of fit under here. So very simple. That'll fit on, it's hard to do one-handed. Kind of something like that. Now we'll be able to have, uh, obviously here is strong, there is strong, across the trunk floor is strong. And then we just gotta deal with something here. Now I'm not gonna go factory. I don't think I'll just kind of weld a piece on weld it be done with it and around here we'll just do something on a nice little patch of some sort we'll put it we'll seam seal it. it'll be just fine i mean it's a 50 year old car we're not going for perfection here it's a driver very solid original driver and i want to keep it as as kind of original and ratty as it can be so that's that the camera i'm going to plug it in let it charge up a little bit while i get this stuff all kind of cleaned up and then i'll bring it back when we're kind of ready to start to put on the new panel see you in a bit all right so we've got everything kind of cleaned up. I got all the, the old junk off. I have the uh, the new pan. Now we're gonna do a little a kind of goofy thing. So I drilled the holes for the spot weld to hold it on. They're a pain to get to. And I drilled the top holes for the spot weld as well. Now obviously we haven't repaired that yet, which is supposed to go past the spot weld that way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put her in there. And I mean, it only kind of fits one way, which is kind of nice. You can't really screw it up too much. There's a little lump there. It's going to go to the back. We're all golden. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tack weld it on the tops, kind of across the seam there, just to hold it, get everything fit. I can plug weld the back, and then I can come back later and get under it and weld it at any time. That's kind of irrelevant. Now, at the front... Uh, that also gives me, and now I can build my patch to go down, either weld it in that way, or if I just want to weld it across the seam, or whatever it may be. But this will give you a good, uh, a good place to go from, anyways. Now, you probably could use a pair of ice grips, but we're just going to go ahead and, uh, blindly hold it and pull the trigger. And you got to close your eyes, of course. Safety, but... The back only fits one way. Just 
kind of hold it a little bit of pressure backwards on it. There we go. It's not going to go anywhere. I'll probably just give it a few more little welds here and there, but it's fine. It's right where it's going to be. Nice tight gap the whole way. And I did grind everything on the bottom side. So on the quarter panel, you drill it, and same thing, we'll plug weld that all in. But now we can focus on uh, making a little kind of triangle piece to join these together, and then really a flat piece to go down and join in there. And that's just that. Well, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for tonight. Uh, kind of had enough. It's ugly grinding ugh, kind of work. So I've done mostly ugly stuff. I'll give this a quick uh, once over with the, with the grinding disc and then I'll just kind of put that uh, rust converter on it so it can do its thing overnight because that has to dry for you know, 24 hours or whatever it is. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll get started on that. Maybe I'll just do that on my own because it's a pretty simple little patch. Let me get forward more on the, uh, the quarter panel. See you guys tomorrow. Alright, well it's the next day, you kind of saw me uh, fast motion get this thing ready. So I thought I would uh, prep the panel, I had the car pushed over, so I had a little bit of room here. Uh, I did get that all taken care of, I'll show you that when I get the car back over. But anyways, so I zipped off about three quarters of an inch from the top, I cleaned up the back, I got all the folds off uh, front and back of the panel. I drilled all my plug welds, which go all across the bottom around the wheel arch and then at the bottom of the sill so it's basically ready to go uh this panel it's got one little ding in it unfortunately right there but uh i can get that from the back side and whack it out then just a little bit of filler so now that's kind of where it's going to be uh, i put the the fender stands away and clean up a little bit and get the car uh as far over to this side as i can now and then uh start working so the uh the plan will be, you can see I worked a little bit more, and I uh, I got the wheel arch, or the, you know, all that all kind of done. Anyways, we'll get this ground off. I'm actually going to hang the new panel on, just with some self-tappers. Make sure the body line at the door lines up, and then make sure we kind of are happy at the back. Then we'll just, like I said, put some textures in there. We'll trace it. We'll cut out most of what's left for metal. We'll prep it for welding, and uh, put it on. Just that easy.
All right, so we're all trimmed up, uh, ready to go. I'm gonna let the batteries charge a little bit. Um, I have to just do a little skim cut on the, the panel. Uh, at the front here, it's it's like double wall, so it's nice to kind of have the panel sit against there, but butt up against the uh, the cut. Unfortunately, I'm an idiot, and I was cutting through the sill, and I hit the fuel line, so I'm going to let that just kind of air dry a little bit. I'm going to hit the window with uh, a little bit of grease, just so it'll be, you know, minty. Otherwise, um, so I measured, I ground it off now. But I measure and I put a piece of tape, three quarter, a uh, piece of yeah, three quarter inch tape down. That's where I cut. Uh, so we'll screw the thing back on. We'll cut across the top, and then this piece will fall out, and we'll rip it out through the trunk. So we go down the other side, and then a couple plug welds on the bottom, around the wheel arch, and we'll go. So the batteries charge. Like I said, we'll put this back on. I'll pepper it with a bunch of self tappers on the top. I'll clamp it on the bottom, around the wheel arch, uh, around the dropout, and all that. So the panel will be exactly where it's going to be. Then we'll start cutting in on the top and uh, tack welding it in, same with the front and back, and we'll get it so it's actually attached properly. That's the fun part of uh, a zillion tacks, and then grinding, and then it's basically done. So it's getting there. Take a little break, and we'll uh, get back after it. All right, took a little break, and uh, before we get back on this Pontiac, I figured I'd show you guys what I did. Look at that. Moved the workbench off to the side, cleaned it all up. Man, I'm doing a lot of cleaning lately. I kind of feel like the garage is wider and it is long, and it's only going to be a one car, so I don't really got to consider uh, too much issue with two cars in here, so I got lots of room on both sides, and now I can walk around freely. It's uh, pushed pretty close up to the door, but you can still sneak by. Anyways, back on this junker. So we got the, uh, the panels on. I got a bunch of self-tappers holding it where it's going to be. Uh, there's vice grips holding it underneath. And in the wheel well and all that so it's basically where it's where it's going to be i still do got to zip just kind of the excess off as i'm working my way in so i'll just use a grinder with a thin disc i like to go like a 45 and it makes a nice tight gap and you just kind of push it with a hammer handle or glove or whatever and just kind of tack it in so the panel will be where it's going to be uh some cars are different this one's very simple especially if you're only doing the skin you just want to make sure all your body lines line up now we're not touching the top one, so it's irrelevant. The only one we have to worry about is this door one. I'm going to show you. So they line up, I mean, I don't know, finger to finger. I'm happy with it. So once that's in, get it all welded, it'll be just fine. And uh, yeah, and at the back, there's nothing to worry about. So it's pretty slick. This center molding line, it's all on its lonesome. There's nothing in the door to join. So we're fine. So it should be good. I'll set the laps up, we'll start just kind of getting it uh, stitched into place, bring it back one more time, and then it's just a pile of time lapse tap weld, uh, tack welding and blowing air on it and then grinding, and then uh, basically metal work's done. I did notice there's a couple of little tiny pinholes I have to deal with on the sills underneath, that's really no big deal. Uh, we can probably start body working and then uh, maybe getting some paint. Quarter tacked on. Uh, I shut the camera off like an idiot, but uh, this is the piece that was 
originally on the car holding it on so i managed to snake it the whole way out so you can see it goes basically right to the the door all the way back and it's a little angle down so you know when you're cutting it you really want to make sure you cut the whole way through otherwise this piece will fight you coming out especially i mean about here you can't really reach up there for any sort of leverage so you're taking door panels or in, you know panels off and stuff um you know i don't have a whole lot of advice whether i'm doing it right or wrong what i have learned is go slow and take your time this big panel i mean it's, it's nerve-wracking and i used to have it off and it'd be like oh i need to get it back on i don't want the car to be screwed and you know so you get it back on and you just start welding and welding and it just warps the hell out of the panel it's such a big panel and i mean i think it's just 18 gauge doesn't take much heat to screw it up so as you'll see now uh when we start lapsing as i weld it in i'll be skipping you know all across the panel i'll have my little air gun be blowing the panel touching it with your hand making sure it's not getting hot you know take your time it's not uh this is not the time to uh or not the, the piece of the car to really rush on because this will screw up and then trying to fix it with bodywork after i don't know about you guys but i hate bodywork i'd much rather spend the extra few minutes right now on this panel and it might be an extra couple hours you know what i mean to really take your time on it so the panel is welded front top and back i have it on the bottom it's still clamped in but that's again who really cares i'll plug weld that in when i'm done um yeah, I don't really think I have any other advice or anything like that for it. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it and, and learning something. And that being said, if you have some tip for me that I can learn, put her below. Because, uh, hey, I'm just winging it. I've got, this is probably the, I don't know, 10th or 12th or something like that set of quarter panels I've done in my life. Which is probably not that many in the grand scheme of things. But for a guy at home, it's probably a big number. That's full panels. I've done lots of patches and stuff like that. And as I get older now... The bigger the panel, the like full floor, stuff like that, it's more money. You should do it. Uh, like this car would have been better with the full quarters, but again, they were, they were just too many dollars for me. It would have been, uh, I think, make the car kind of now not sellable for any sort of profit when I have to. So yeah, that's that. Everyone always asks where I get my panels. These ones all came from Walker Auto, Reg, Mint Guy. Uh, go in there, tell them Dan sent you. He'll cut you the best deal he possibly can. For himself all right well i'm gonna get cleaned up and we'll uh, get this all figured out Oh, well, that was a fair bit of screwing around, but, uh, you know, you kind of work your way, and then once you get kind of close, I fill in little little bits of the time I blow with air, and I just kind of make sure you can touch it with your hand and stuff like that. I was just wearing these kind of thin gloves, so the panel felt cold the whole time. There's no waves in it. That's all you really want to do. I mean, I guess ultimately you can weld as fast or slow as you want. You just don't want the panel to start going all gibbled. Uh, so I got from about here 
up and then all the way across and then down done and I got the plug welds done on the back so I got to plug weld the bottom of the quarter to that new uh, trunk pan piece and then just a couple of plug welds to the sill and then a few around the wheel arch and then I got to go down in here uh, so I thought I'd stop I'll just do that because ultimately I'll be just absolutely blocking the camera when I do that and I gotta sit down on the ground that's a pain so I'll get all that dialed together and then we'll come back uh, just to some uh, another, another little montage of uh, throwing sparks. I'll grind the whole thing down. I think we're kind of done. So I've got uh, one evening and a full day into this so far. So I don't know. I think between both, I got like four or five days, both panels on, inner wheel tub repair and trunk drop down. So I don't know if you guys have ever done that or if you've seen someone do that or if you've had someone do it for you. What's something like that cost? I've always heard it's kind of pricey doing quarters. It is very time consuming and if it's done wrong, it's an absolute waste of money. So let me know how much that costs or what you guys think it should cost. Make me feel better about myself. Don't judge my work too bad. Yeah, enjoy the sparks. Well, there we have it. Quarter panel on. You know, I gotta say, these cars, uh, it looks good with a brand new quarter on there. They just have that Coke bottle kind of vibe to them. Looks so good. But uh, that's where I'm leaving for a night in this video. Uh, I gotta grab my sample. I'll get take that in. We're gonna be doing uh, body and paint next. So I gotta get some uh, paint mixed up to match you can't just get the factory color because it's so faded and stuff like that because i know you guys hate that i'm gonna patina this thing but uh just it's what i like ratty muscle cars can't go wrong but that's it for me thank you very much for watching actually you know what i always say at the end of the video subscribe to the video and all that but all you guys who are subscribed and have been around for a while and comment on the videos and you're in the live stream every saturday and stuff thanks you guys for watching i appreciate that all right we'll be back uh, tomorrow for sanding